This is Sean Billings with Pendulum Surveying. Today we're going to be talking about one point localization with the Triumph LS. Surveyors often find it more convenient to work with a custom coordinate system than a predefined projection, such as state plane or UTM. The reasons may be many, but often it's desirable to use a coordinate system with a low scalar difference from ground-based measurements, or to have the bearing relation closer to geodetic north. This way, grid bearings and grid distances are closer to ground distances and geodetic north. These projections are often referred to as low distortion projections, which are abbreviated as LDP. The localization application in J-Field on the Triumph LS is capable of producing useful LDPs automatically in seconds. Similar to an LDP, but slightly different in approach, the localization application can also produce a transformation from a predefined coordinate system to a different coordinate system. This video will describe how to accomplish a single point localization to produce an LDP or simple three parameter transformation from a predefined coordinate system. If you are using a base, create a new project and start the base using Base Rover Setup. If you are using an RTN, create a new project and proceed to the Collect Action screen. Ultimately, we will be creating a new projection, a low distortion projection, even though currently the project is set up with a state plane coordinate system. But this is not a problem as all survey points are stored as latitude, longitude, and ellipsoid height and are projected as grid coordinates according to the current coordinate system of the active page. Therefore, a point stored as a state plane coordinate now can be easily displayed as a local coordinate later. So here we're in Base Rover Setup. We're going to begin a base session named Base 2 from an autonomous position in state plane coordinates, even though later we're going to be using a local system. The localization can be performed at any time. To demonstrate this, I've collected the first few points with state plane coordinates set as the current coordinate system. Notice the coordinates at the bottom of the screen in the Collect Action screen are in state plane. Now I'm ready to create my local system. To do this, I'm going to go to Localize from the home screen. The top left shows the design coordinate system, which is our new local system. Notice it is designated with a house icon with a number inside. The number in the house icon indicates how many points have been used in the localization of this system. Currently, there are zero points in the localization of this system, therefore the number in the house is zero. The top right survey coordinate system is the underlying coordinate system of the local system. To create a new projection, we're going to use a geographic coordinate system such as NAD83 or WGS84. We now want to pair a survey coordinate value with a local coordinate value. Use the plus icon to add a coordinate on each side. We will now select a specific point on the Earth to have a grid coordinate of our designation. I want the base point, base 2, to be my origin point for my new local coordinate system. For the survey point, I will recall the base point from the list. For the design point, I will manually designate a coordinate value. In this example, I will use 5000, 5000. The name of the design point for the local system only pertains to the localization application. I often use origin for this purpose. The only place this point name will be seen is in localization. Once both points are showing in the localization screen, highlight the point on the left and the point on the right and then select Link at the bottom of the screen. We will use horizontal for the link in this exercise. This means all elevations will remain relative to the underlying coordinate system. The north and east residuals will always be zero in a single point localization. This is because the transformation is without error and perfectly transforms from the underlying system to the local. As will be shown in the multipoint localization 2017 video, three or more points will always produce residuals. 
as well two points with a user specified scale factor. Because this is based on a horizontal link only and the defined coordinate did not include an elevation, the vertical residual is irrelevant, which is why it's shown in gray. Select Customize to view the parameters of the newly created local system. Here you can see the geodetic coordinate, latitude and longitude of the origin, as well as the grid coordinate of the origin, north ground and east ground. The rotation is zero because the underlying system is geodetic. The bearing relation of the local system is geodetic at the origin. Convergence of meridians will apply. Had we rather been related to grid north for a particular state plane coordinate system zone, we could have selected that zone as the underlying system. Then the bearings would be identical with that state plane coordinate system zone. The scale factor has been automatically generated to produce grid distances that match horizontal ground distances at the origin. As a rule of thumb, the scale factor changes one part per million for every 20 feet of vertical change from the origin, or one part per million for every 11 miles from the origin. The application has produced a new projection and not simply a transformation over another projection. The default projection type is oblique stereographic. However, users can also select transverse Mercator. We are now ready to save our new local system. Notice the house icon now has a one in it because our new local system is defined by a single pair of points, origin and base two. At the point screen, the coordinates for base two are still being displayed as state plane. We need to change the active coordinate system to our new local system to see the display change. At the collect prepare screen, change the coordinate system to the new local system. Return to the point screen and now the display shows the coordinates in the new local system. At the collect action screen, the coordinates are also displayed in our new local system. The new local system is built on a geodetic position on the earth that we surveyed. In this example, it is our base position. Recall that the base was started from an autonomous position. If we now use depots, we'll need to reconcile the shift from the autonomous derived geodetic position of the base to the cores derived geodetic position of the base. Upon completion of our survey, we process the project in depots. Once finished, let's review our points. With the geodetic position of the base and all of its related points being shifted by depots, we see the base position is shifted from 5,000, 5,000 to 4997.671 and 4998.279. Reconciling this is accomplished by one easy step, return to the localization screen. The application recognizes that the base has been shifted and recalculates the localization. The application saves the changes automatically. Returning to the point screen, we see that the coordinates for base two are again correctly displayed. We are now ready to export our work.